Hello, hello, and welcome back to Remember the Flowers. Uh, we're... We're doing things, I guess. That's interesting. Uh, come on, Cyrus. Uh, don't leave me hanging. Uh, play it for me. Aw, oh, the cutie boy. Damien and I sit around on his bed back home. He's bouncing excitedly next to me, uh, causing the bed to creak as it moves. Hey, calm down. You know, I'm pretty shy about performing. It's been a while since I've played the guitar in front of everyone, uh, from anyone, let alone, let alone sing. You should have thought about that before hyping me up so much. All I did was say I wrote something for you. And? No one's ever done, th done that for me before. Of course I'm excited. He's radiating optimism. Uh, he's, yeah, okay. He's always been pretty supportive of my creative venues. I figured since his birthday is around the corner, I'd try to write him something. Well, just know that it's not finished yet. I'll show you what I've got. It's just the lyrics and some chords. That's way more than I could have ever uh, hoped to manage. The last time you tried to explain your process, my head started spinning. Ah, uh, it took me a while to figure it out, mainly because I learned be learned between schoolwork. Well, I'm glad you did. We wouldn't have met otherwise. I push up my glasses to hide the fact that I'm blushing. He's right. I had a free afternoon near the end of my undergrad undergrad career. I brought out my guitar to play in a secluded part of the campus. There's a small garden by the track and field that no one really knows about. And Damien was out there, uh, out on his run for the afternoon, and caught me playing. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. That's fine. And then we started talking and, well, I can't help but smile. All right. You ready? And Damien stops his bouncing and gives me his full attention. Absolutely. I take a deep breath before tuning my guitar. I give it a few strums and then clear my throat. I've been wondering what happened at the end of time. Uh, what happens at the end of time. Was it all for nothing? Was there any point? I haven't been able to resist the temptation of finding out. Yet there's you. Even when it fades, you believe in us after eternity. I hope I'll see you until... Wait. I hope I'll see you until it all turns to nothing. Even if we're like shooting stars across the empty sky. An annoying beeping starts. Is it my alarm? Wait. No, I don't have an alarm clock yet. And groggily, I sit up. My axiom is making some kind of noise. How the hell do I turn it off? I start waving my hands over it a few times. Eventually, a screen pops up. It's a lot less staticky than the other ones I've seen. It's clearly transparent. Greetings, operator. Synchronization is complete. Current a synchronization rate, sixty-seven percent. Uh, what are your orders? It's like I can hear it in my head. Nothing. Stand by, I guess. <laughs> Affirmative. And just like that, the screen fades back inside. What a weird way to wake up. I lay back down and stare at the ceiling. It's been a while since I had such clear dreams of the past. I wonder if moving for the second time will be harder than the first. Maybe I should start a dream journal. It could be a good way to process everything. Ugh. Oh, okay. I hold up my 
hold my arm up, looking at the Axiom. I'm sure there's something on this thing that r resembles a notepad. I zero in on the expression once more. On my expression. My bangs are getting long again. I'll need to find someone to help me cut them. Hard to believe my hair was ever brown. Now that I'm awake, I might as well figure out my axiom some more. I sit up and look it over. Despite being embedded into my skin, it's not uncomfortable. I have full mobility, for the most part. It feels a little tight if I flex my wrists, but that's about it. I wipe my hand over it to try to activate it, assuming it turns on like others I've seen. Thankfully, the line etched into the metal starts to light up almost instantly. I'm greeted with a much different screen than any I've seen on other axioms. It's much clearer, almost like glass. A clear-cut border surrounds the whole thing. Everything seems to be in color, despite being translucent. Are you? <clears throat> Wait, are the uh, opacity settings to your liking? I hear the strange robotic voice in my head again. Uh, sure. Sensing doubt. Recalibrating. The screen becomes much less transparent. It's almost like a floating tablet screen. Are the opacity settings now to your liking? I'm starting to get a headache from all of this. Aaron didn't mention this. Uh, didn't mention an AI. How are you talking inside my head? Apologies, operator. After running diagnostics, you are found to not uh, be my former user. Would you like a walkthrough of my capabilities? Who was your former user? I'm sorry, operator, but that is classified information. What the? Maybe later. I just want to look through it, through it myself. Is there internet? Unfamiliar with the term. Please elaborate. Oh, yeah, I guess the internet is no longer a thing. <gasps> this is truly the end times. <laughs> oh, what do they use now? Sensing operator intent. Would you like to open the gate? The what? Oh, that's what they call it. About a decade ago, some scientists were talking about how nice it was to have something like the internet again. I guess this thing can read my thoughts. That's kind of weird. Would you like... Uh, would you like to turn off Mental Link? I answer without hesitation. Yes, please. Understood. Now the voice is coming from the device itself. If you would like to turn Mental Link back on, simply uh, head to the settings. Much better. My stomach starts to growl again. I should have checked the time before falling asleep. How long have I been out? And I try to check a clock on this thing. It's a few minutes to 5 p.m. Oh, good. I didn't sleep too long this time. I get a piece of paper with uh, Oren's ID. I'm not sure if it's because of the lack of food in my stomach, but it's really hard to read it. This handwriting is atrocious. Uh... C-A-I? Kai? I'm gonna call him Kai. Is that okay? I hope that's okay. Yes, operator. How do I input someone's ID? One moment. Without me lifting a finger, a screen pops up with a keypad. Okay, this is pretty neat. It takes me a few tries to input the ID code correctly. Eventually, a name pops up. Uh, Aaron Cosmos? Cosmos? Okay. It's a bit uh, finicky to type with my left hand, but I eventually managed to find a me to send a message to him. I think I got this to work. Uh, let me know, I guess. I slide the screen, screen away, uh, entering the main inf interface. It reminds me of a tablet from back in the day. Soon I no a notification pops up. I click the button, revealing a message from Aaron. Uh, look, uh, looks like it. I was just about to head over. I think I figured out how to make that dish you asked about. 
I'll see you in the break room soon, okay? I wait a minute before responding. I hope this thing doesn't have a red res... Rate... Res... Recip... Receipts? Re... Re... But I remember my, um... I am in... in uh, I am etiquette? Sure, I'll be there in a sec. After I send the message, I try sliding the screen away. It takes a few tries, but I can't deny how cool it is. I get up from the bed. I'm still a bit woozy, but I persevere. I make it to the bathroom, flicking on the lights. My eyes strain to adjust. I smile sadly at myself in the mirror. Man, I look like crap. I wash my face before heading out, grabbing my turtleneck and sliding it on for the first time in days. Yeah, it definitely feels a bit more loose. Whoops. It fits a little, uh, oddly. Wait, it fits oddly over the axiom. I'm not sure how I'll use it. I'm sure, I, uh, Oren, it, I'll ask Oren to bring me uh, some of the clothes he ordered. Maybe I'll wear a t-shirt. I try to rock a tank top like Damien used to. I could try, okay. I turn off the lights before uh, leaving my room. Thankfully, my room isn't too far from the break room. It takes me a little longer than I'd like to just walk over. I can smell something good from around the corner, making my mouth water. I pick up my old man's pace and make my way over. Arn is already plating uh, what looks like a good recreation of uh, carbo car carbona carbonara. Hey there, dinner's almost ready. How are you feeling? Out of habit, I almost say I'm fine, but honestly, I could be better. Looking forward to eating something. I give him a sheepish smile, and he responds with a warm smile of his own. Good thing I brought plenty. You could have as much as you want. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, that looks a little loud in the levels. I'll turn that down just a little bit. Uh, Arin puts up a chair for me. Of course! Here, I'll get you some water. I nod as I look over the plate in front of me. The spices smell a bit different, but it smells good. Guess I don't even know how Mom made it. I can't even tell if I'm shaking from excitement or from a lack of eating anything. Probably the latter. My hand is trembling slightly as I as I try to scoop up some pasta with my fork. It's really, really good. How is it? It's my first time, so go easy on me. It's amazing, Aaron. That's all I can say before taking another forkful. And definitely getting some bacon in there. I guess that's still around. Thank God. I'm happy to hear that. So tell me, what's been going on? He casually pulls up a chair across from me as he starts eating his own meal. Well, I've been having these dreams lately. A few days have gone by since I've started in the underground base. Since I've settled in the underground base. For the most part, everything's been rather quiet. I've seen the crew in, in passing now and then. Since they don't live here, I guess I shouldn't expect to see them all the time. I messaged Vita the other night about the device that was in the back of my head. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but I know that, <laughs> that it exploded. It's been years. Sorry. Uh, maybe it was a tracker of some kind, or an emergency kill switch. Whatever it was, the shock of the explosion is caused, is c probably the cause of my amnesia. There's definitely some 
uh, some that uh, there's definitely still some bits in there. I want to get them out on uh, out in case there's anything that could track me. Despite the urgency, Vita wasn't able to operate until today. They said there was there were some supplies they needed to get the uh, get to make sure it went smoothly. Hope it does. I want to put uh, current as far behind me as possible, or rather, resum, I guess. I slide on my axiom to read my previous messages to Vita. They said they can uh, do it today at 10 a.m., so in about 15 minutes. I continue my walk through the many halls of the base. This is, this has been the only exercise I've had as of late, but it's not bad. I've gotten lost once or twice, but I think I'm figuring it out now. A couple times I came across people I've never met. Most of them were nice, some skeptical. They were curious, though. I always had to introduce myself. A lynx came up behind me and pulled my hair yesterday. They didn't think it was real. It's a bit off-putting, but I've been through worse. I turned the corner to the break room and grabbed some water. So, after uh, so many surgeries, I've started to... I've learned to stay hydrated beforehand. My axiom beeps. It's Vita. They say they're ready to go. I chug my water and head down to the old medical ward. Vita has, has me sit in the same spot as the other day, but not before handing me a cup of tea. How long have you been out of Resum? About a week and a half, I think. That's a pretty long time. If the device in your head left some kind of tracker, I'm sure they would have discovered you by now. They put on a, a pair of rubber gloves. Even so, better safe than sorry. Agreed. How do you want to do this, though? I have some special equipment in the corner. We'll use a tailor made for residents such as ourselves. Vita slides on their axiom. They type slowly. I'm having the dragon come over soon. He knows more about their tech than I do. Ring, right? Vita nods. When you finish your tea, oh, we can get started. Vita, it's still boiling hot. Did I stutter? Can you even do that with that throat replacement? I can give you one if you want to find out. I start sipping the tea a little faster. I know it doesn't hurt, but I'd rather not kill my taste buds, thank you. Vita has me sit in a strange-looking chair. It almost looks like a throne with weird protrusions along the back. I know it's been a while, but we're going to use your ports during the surgery. I start to stretch my back, popping some of my spine. How do you want to handle the anesthetics, or lack thereof? Vita sighs through their nose. I know you can't feel pain, but I will strap your legs and arms during uh, down during the process. That makes sense, and don't want my random spasms. Indeed, I have to say, it is refreshing to work with someone so experienced. It's probably a good thing you don't, don't come across people like me very often. Vita nods solemnly. Shall we get started then? Cyrus Cantwell. I make my way to the chair, stripping off my shirt. Sure, hopefully this is one of the last procedures I have this century. I'll make sure to make it as comfortable as possible. I do appreciate it, Doctor. I carefully sit down in the strange-looking chair. Vita straps my legs and arms to the wooden frame. How's that? For being tied down, not too bad. Good. I'll insert the serum now. By all means. It's a new formula I came up with. This is a treatment. A treatment we were going to have you start regardless. 
they put in the first tube. Now that's a feeling I've never forgotten. Cool and thick liquid being pumped directly into my back. The goal is to jumpstart your bodily functions to operate naturally again. They stunted your growth in order to keep you at your prime for as long as possible. Vita inserts the second and third tubes. It tingles, but that, but that's about it. It feels kind of good. Familiar, even. If you're lucky, you'll be able to go on living the rest of your natural life. That is, that is if you maintain treatment for the years to come. Whatever you say, Doc. You truly are strange, Cyrus Cantwell. Don't I know it? Vita starts to slowly lean me back. The tubes start to retract enough so that I'm sitting somewhat comfortably against the contraption of a chair. Vita has me look down before panting, by parting the hair on the back of my head. Hmm. Yeah, near the skin, there's definitely signs of infection and abs... Wait, ab... Abs... Guesses? It's... <laughs> I'm sure my hair got tangled up in there while it was healing, uh, which doesn't help. I see. I'm gonna need to shave some of this off in order to get started. Be careful. It's It took me years to grow it this long. I'll see what I can do. Vita uses scissors to cut away the clumps of tangled hair uh, surrounding the area. Tricky. I don't want to disturb the infection, but I'll need to shave it. Uh, down somewhat. What do you... Uh, wait. Just do what you gotta do, I guess. Vita doesn't reply as they cut more, away more. After a few minutes, I hear an electric razor start. It honestly is a bit bittersweet to lose some of, the, some of my hair. It's grown on me. <laughs> Literally. I breathe through my nose as Vita tilts my head down further. They carefully rub the exposed skin with what I assume is some kind of alcohol. Stay still. I'm gonna. C I'm going to cut into the skin now. It's been a while since this surgery made me unsure. I don't remember the last time I've gotten an infection. I can tell when they're, when they pierce the skin by the feeling of something, this and warm dripping down my neck and slowly trailing down my back. The stench of rotten skin and ferment, fer, yeah, fermented pus soon hits my nose. And my eyes water and my stomach churns. I'm glad you let me know about all of this. Who knows what the, what would have happened if we let it like, wait, if we left it like this. Is it really that bad? I need to focus. I spread my hands out in the silent, out in silence to protest. You were the one who started the, this conversation. Besides the sound of a chumpy pus and dripping down my back, it's pretty quiet. Eventually, I can feel my, feel them digging under my skin. Every so often, I hear a metal clink behind me. Must be pu uh, pulling out machinery, machine bits now. My head starts to get woozy as Vita continues digging. Pain or not, my brain is registering some of this, some sort of discomfort over being prodded at. Eventually, I open the door. I hear the door open. That's what that says. Who is it? Vita doesn't respond, just keeping my head down. Hey! Hey, Vita! You in here! I can hear Vita exhale loudly. Yes. I'm here. I'm behind the curtain. I'm kind of busy. Come back later. I'm almost done. I'm busy later. You told me to come here at this time anyway. What are you even doing in here? It reeks! That's a cool effect. I can hear him open the curtain behind me. Vita stops working for a moment. It's uncomfortably quiet now. H Hello? The sound of a half-dragon half exp expelling everything from his stomach... Uh, fills the room before he runs out and slams the door shut. At the very least, he covered up the stench of the pus. It does churn my stomach, making me spill uh, spill up in my lap. For fuck's sake. 
I try to spit out everything. You're telling me. Vita cleans everything up before finishing up the surgery. They weren't kidding. It was pretty much ev pretty much done when Ring showed up. Afterwards, I sit up on the bed by their by their desk again, uh, sipping some more tea. They sewed the wound shut rather well. I move my hand to feel the shaved part of my head. The suits sutures sutures are cleanly lined up. Damn, Doc. For someone with a degree, you did quite well with these without a degree. I've unfortunately had a lot of practice. I just wish the dragon waited a bit longer. Speaking of... Vita takes their axiom out once more and clumsily types on it. I'll never get used to this thing. Soon after, Ring appears. I almost don't recognize him. Must be because of his hair's down. New portrait? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you done yet? Yes. Take a while. Uh, took a while to clean everything up, though. You should have warned me. What do you think it means when a doctor is busy behind a curtain? Anyway. The dragon rolls his eyes, before locking them on me. He looks a bit stunned and doesn't say anything for a moment. Hey, you. What? He already looks annoyed. You were staring at me. Lucky you. When did you want me to look at, Vita? Vita takes off their surgical mask before grabbing the items in question. These were embedded in Cyrus's skull. We just want to make sure there's nothing to worry about. Ring looks at them before looking towards me, more specifically the side of my head. His expression softens for a moment. Hmm. Then he ties his hair back and sits down with a tray of bits and pieces. I try, I try playing with the uh, suitors, but Vita quietly smacks my hand away. Stop it. Sorry. Ring is focusing on one piece in particular. It's bigger than the rest. What's wrong? Well, it definitely doesn't have any way uh, to get a signal anymore, but it's... Oh, well, excuse me. It's possible. There's some data on this ship. Data? What the hell did they put in his head? An old way they used to track an ID resident. And why did it explode? No idea. I assume because he got far enough away from an active facility. Probably a no, an obsolete uh, security measure. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. There was a surgery that I had when I still had anesthesia, and never really knew what it was about, though. Well, it wasn't uh, used much as far as I know. We might be able to get some information from this. I doubt it can uh, track us. I'd say we're in the clear. Ring pulls his hair back down, uh, taking off his axiom and digitizing the bits bits and pieces. I assume it's all right uh, for me to take these. Yuri did. Thank you for your services as usual, Vita. Ring says sarcastically. Speaking of... His attention turns towards me. How are you doing, Cyrus? He's not looking at me when he does. Well, you know, still alive, I guess. That's something. He looks like he's struggling to ask something. We haven't seen each other much since hey, you got here. and Been kind of busy at home. Do you remember everything? I do, yeah. Ring looks at me for a moment before shutting his eyes. You got your axiom, right? Yeah. Uh, right here. I lift my arm to show him. He looks at it with some scrutiny. Never seen that model before. Axe will give it to you. Oh, right. He wanted this one. 
Yeah. Uh, Aaron uh, gave it to me a few days ago. Ring's eyes go wide. He really uh, told you his name. Huh? Y yeah, he did. Let me register myself in your axiom. Ring next sits next to me and pulls up his axiom screen before gesturing for me to do the same. I pull it to show him. I can tell from his expression that he knows exactly what my axiom is now. That's the model he gave you? He's trying, but failing, to suppress a growl. I don't know how I'm supposed to calm him down. Yeah, he said it'd be a good fit for me. To my surprise, Ring just rolls his eyes instead of pressing it further. I knew he was corny, but this is ridiculous. What do you mean? Here, slide the ID screen. Since we have our axiom, our, our axioms on next to each other, then we can add each other like this. Oh, okay. Not long after I see rings. No, who is this? Is this your profile? Yes, it is. If you tell anyone my name, I will kill you. Vita interjects from the other side of the room. I'm sure Titania would take that well. Shut up, or you'll join him. Vita sips their tea quietly in response. I don't know how much know much about this model, but I can try to help if you need anything. Sure, I appreciate it. Anyway, please just call me Ring outside of the base. I don't like my name. I don't like telling my name for a reason. I think he's being sincere. I'll do my best. Should I make a code name for myself? Wouldn't hurt, but I wouldn't be surprised if it takes a while before you're allowed to be on your own. You need to rest up. Don't worry, that's all I've been doing as of late. Ring gets up. Good, I need to get home. I got a repair call earlier that I want to take care of. I'll see you around then. The dragon nods before making his way out of the room, uh, much more elegantly this time around. He seems nice. Oh, yeah, he seems nice. Right. Okay, I'll uh, end the part here, so I'll see you around, everyone.